What's up guys? This is another video game pickup video. Um, I didn't really like how I was having things. They were just stacked all around me. So I decided the old table method, like a lot of YouTubers do. Um, but yeah, we'll roll with it. First thing here, got the Power Rangers uh, Tiger Handheld. This thing is really cool. I have all the other ones, I just didn't have this one. It kept being sold out online, and I finally found it in-store. Um, first, PS5, we'll go with PS5. Uh, Cowabunga Collection. Uh, yeah, I beat one of the games, I think TMNT Arcade, I've already finished. It seems like a decent platinum, so I might try that. Um, going with that one, never mind. This is actually uh, the fiancé's game. God of War Ragnarok. She got it for with her Christmas money. So I have not played it. I feel bad for her though. She accidentally started it on my account and played six hours and then uh, has to restart. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Yes, I like Call of Duty games. Um, the campaigns are always good and I'm having a lot of fun on with this, uh, the multiplayer. This is also Lorena's game. Uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. I got this for her for Christmas, and we have not tried it yet. Same with this one, but we do know all about this game. Uh, Last of Us Part 1 Remake. Cool. Same with this one, Callisto Protocol. If I get her a game, I basically have the game too, so yeah. Callisto Protocol. It's made by the creators of Dead Space, so a lot of people are expecting like a Dead Space more... A more Dead Spacey game, but uh, they were kind of disappointed. PS4 here, we have Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. I meant to get the PS5 version. I don't know why I got the PS4 version, but it has free upgrades, so it's okay. But this is a uh, Klonoa 1 and 2 remastered. This is one of my Christmas presents, um, Psychonauts 2. I love Double Fine. I love Psychonauts 1. So I am super excited to get into this one. This is a uh, Motherload edition. has like a slip cover and whatnot. Uh, we have TMNT Shredder's Revenge. When did I get this? I don't remember when I got this, but I think it was a Christmas present. But yeah, cool. Uh, this is also Lorena's game, Doom Eternal. Got that for her. I'm surprised we didn't already have that one, but oh well. Now to the Nintendo stuff, um, which I'll show I'll show this in a second. We have Bravely Default 2. Um, I'm keeping this sealed because I have I have this game open already, but it's the PAL version. Um, I don't really want the PAL version to be the representation of this game in my collection, so I got a sealed uh, North American version. Um, I originally used some coupons and got this from GameStop, but they sent it new, like had sticker residue all over the front of it. It was just in a baggie, like already open. Really makes me mad. I'm not mad at the people at GameStop. I'm mad at the the uh, policy, I should say. Like that's not new. If I brought that into you and tried to sell it, you would not give me new money for that. So I went to uh, eBay, which I actually ended up saving a lot of money. Um, GameStop, I paid 45 on sale. Got this on eBay for like $31. So, so yeah. So I'm going to keep this one sealed in the collection. I only do this with Nintendo games, by the way. Just because they hold value, and if I ever wanted to sell them in the future, I would. But I've never sold anything in my life, so don't think that that's, like, my main prerogative. It's not. So if I already have it open... Why would I open the North American one, you know? So, next up here we have... Hang on. So this is going to be the same situation here. So, the missus got me Kirby and the Forgotten Land uh, for Christmas. It was supposed to be a uh, North American copy. PAL version came in, which is kind of annoying. So I opened it. I'm going to play this one. But uh, I didn't want that to be the collection copy, so I got a uh, sealed North American copy. One of the biggest annoyances when you do that is look at the spines. Like, 
all my North American games don't line up with the PAL version. But uh, just for collection's sake, I only do this with Nintendo, like I said. I don't see a point in doing this with, like, PlayStation games, because they plummet in price anyways. Like, they don't never hold their value. And I just think it's cool having, like, some sealed Nintendo games in the collection, like, later down the road. Like, if I had sealed GameCube games right now, it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, so, yeah. Got a play copy, got the collection copy. Uh, this is going to be... So, hopefully you guys don't get annoyed by my Switch brain. <laughs> but, uh, I have the, uh... Okay, so here, here's the next game. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, I have the collector's edition sealed. I also don't really like to open the collector's editions for uh, Switch games or Nintendo games in general. I open some of them, but especially not Zelda. Zelda's my favorite series, so I always like to have sealed copies of it. I don't know why. And no, it's not to sell. I've never sold anything. So this is my open copy that I'm going to play. I got these all way cheaper than retail, don't worry. Um, we have Shin Megami Tensei 5. Uh, last year I got, so right now, so this is Luigi's Mansion 3. Last year I got Luigi's Mansion 3 for Christmas and the PAL version came in again. So this year I just got me a sealed copy to, to have a North American copy in the collection, basically. Uh, we have Triangle Strategy. As you can see, I don't keep a sealed and open copy of every game. I don't do that. Unless it's Zelda. That's the only time. Maybe Pokemon. Uh, we have Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. And this came with a sticker sheet. It's on sale at Walmart and came with this. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have... So this one, I now have a sealed copy, but... Uh, I asked for... Xenoblade Chronicles 3, but she accidentally got me 2. But I gave her the link to it, so it's actually my fault. Um, or maybe it was listed wrong, I don't know. But I already have this game. So this is just going to be the sealed copy. Like, I like to have sealed copies, so why not? We have WarioWare Get It Together. Basically, my what I do throughout the year with Switch is I don't buy any Switch games day one. Unless it's Zelda, I sometimes do. But at the end of the year, my birthday's in December, uh, Christmas is in December, I just ask for all Switch games. So I basically get all the Switch games that I've missed throughout the year. Uh, we have Live Alive. And also they're cheaper by that point, too. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Houses. Splatoon 3. Uh... Where? Oh, that's right here. Hang on. Let's move these mysterious objects over. We have the uh, Bayonetta 3 Special Edition. It's called the Trinity Masquerade Edition. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that sealed for the collection. But I got me a play copy. So that's my open one. Also got that cheaper than retail because I waited to get my play copy because I knew I wouldn't play it right away. Um, I got the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet double pack, but, uh, I like to keep these double packs sealed too, because I like to have a copy of the Pokemon game sealed, so I ordered a copy of Violet to play, and the PAL version came again. I don't know what is wrong with Nintendo, but at this point I was like, I don't care. I have a North American one right here, so I'm just gonna play this one, and then randomly a second one came, so... So I guess I just have a sealed PAL version. They accidentally sent me two. So that's cool, I guess. But uh, but yeah, that's cool. Can't wait to play those. Uh, then we have some new Amiibo here. We have Inkling Yellow. Uh, Small Fry. And Octowing Blue. I am so glad that the Amiibo, like... Thing is dying down because I have a I have every single almost every single North American release and uh, they were there for a while it was getting it was getting kind of hard to keep up with these things and now they're starting to die down I only have to buy like one or two maybe three every now and then um, 
But I've been in it so long since day one that I can't just like not get these later ones, you know? So yeah, these are cool. And that's all the gaming stuff. Um, let me know what you picked up, what you got for Christmas and your birthday, or if you have a December birthday, maybe, I don't know, January birthday, whenever you watch this birthday. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. As I'm feeding my son, I look over and realize I forgot games, so here we go. Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. You got a helper. Mega Man X Legacy Collection plus Mega Man X2 Legacy Collection. Battle for Bikini Bottom. Mega Man 11. Disney Games Collection, Jungle Book Aladdin Lion King. And Far Cry 6. Thanks, guys.